Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, we will be boosting the processor to make the computer performance faster, and this will be also fixing any kind of lag or the low FPS problem while gaming on your Windows 10 or 11. So hit that subscribe button for more content. Let's dive into the video. Europe Booster is one of the best program for the optimization of your ping while you play games. Using your wired or wireless connection, so get this paid program free from my description and play your game with lower ping. And if I bring up the task manager, so that I can show you the performances. Now, if I go to the performance section in the CPU, you can see the process count is around 1. 31. The threat is around 12, and the handle is around 50,000. And you can see the memory usage is around 30%, and this is exactly what we will be optimizing. And I will show you the difference after optimizing, so that you can understand that. What kind of difference has been created? So first go to my website, I give link in the description, and download the FPS boost and fix lag pack from my website, and follow me click on your window search. Type PowerShell right click on the Windows PowerShell. Click run as admin. Click on yes. Now here, you have to type a single command that you will be getting from the boost pack. So, you can copy and make a right click here. And it will be automatically pasted. Now it will run for a few seconds. And then finally, it will give you this kind of tool dashboard. So here you get different kind of categories, like install twigs on fake. Update in microwave that is a new feature, which has been added to create a custom. Deep loaded copy of Windows 10 or Windows 11. Okay, so in this video, we will be discussing about the twig. You will have to click on the twig section here. And on the top, you will find some recommended selection for desktop. Laptop so depending you are using a desktop or a laptop, you will have to click on it. And then below here, you get different kind of categories, like Essential Tweak Advanced Tweak. Customize Preferences and Performance Plan. Let us start with the Essential Twig. Now here, very first option, you get Create a Restore Point. So, I would recommend you that it should grow, and create a restore point, in case if anything goes wrong. Or it doesn't work for you, then you can reward the action. Then you have Run Oh Shut Up. You have to give this check, Disabled Telemetry. You have to give this check, Disabled Wi-Fi Sense. You can keep this checked activity history. You can disable it delete temporary file. Run this cleanup, you have to check both these options. Disable location tracking, you have to keep this checked. Disable home group. You have to keep this checked. Disable storage sense. So, you can just uncheck this option. Disable hibernation. If you want to disable it, then you can disable it. Game DVR, it's really recommended. If you want to enjoy the gaming, then disable it. And then, you can just keep other option checked. Now in the advanced week, I won't recommend you to touch these. For option at the top, okay. Keep this unchecked, until you're not sure what exactly it is. Then you have the more option, like remove all MS and store application. Now it's not recommended a, that you should delete, or remove any kind of Microsoft store application. Then you have Microsoft Edge. If you want to remove Microsoft Edge like me, then you can check this option. Then remove one edge of yes, I will remove it, that classic right-click context menu. Then you can check this option. Then you have enable IP version 6. Disable IP version 6 and I would disable it. Now on the right inside, you get customized preferences. Dark team if you want to enable. You can enable it being searched in a start menu. Then you can disable it you file extension. I won't recommend you to disable it. It's now passes fly all. Keep it to enable mouse exploration. If you really want to enjoy the gaming, then you can disable it sticky keys. You can disable it performance plan. Now, if you want to enjoy the ultimate power plan, then you can go and check this option. And now once you are done simple, you will have to click on run two eggs. And this kind of PowerShell window will be up. And it will start working on the process that you have selected. And you also need to be in front of the computer, in case if it asks you for any kind of permission. Okay, so once all the tweak will be completed, you will be getting this message. Tweaks are being finished and I'll simply 
you will have to go ahead and restart the computer. As a next step, guys, I'm gonna recommend you the G Booster, which you can trade for apps absolutely with the free. link in description. Just make sure that you launch the tool and select Fortnite, and it's gonna automatically find for you the best DNS server in your near for the least amount of latency. As you can see, I only get 11 milliseconds latency, which is giving me already a huge improvement of over 100%. I've been using this for any game I'm switch. playing here right now on my PC, and the best part about it is it's also searching actively in the background while you're actually playing for the best DNS servers. It's consistent consistently also showing you. you the connection between your PC and the router and the router and the actual game server so therefore as mentioned make sure check it out with the link in description now next you have to click on your search window. again type performance then from this edition you have to click on performance monitor now you're from the left and menu up you will have to click on data collector sets double click on it then click on user define right click on it or up to new choose data collector set and name it as CPU boost and then instead of create from a template, you have to choose create manually. Click on next then. You have to check the option of performance counter. Then click on next. Now click on add. And it'll make sure this is being selected to processor then below. You have to choose the maximum extension. Save that is available so on my end it's around 15 so I will select it. Then click on next and click on finish. Now you can see CP Boost has been added, and it says stop you need to make a right click on it. And click on the start. Now next click on your window search type here. I miss conflict. Then from the suggestion, you have to click on system configuration. And here from the top menu option, you will have to click on boot. Then click on advanced options. And it will find number of processor options. So, you will have to click on the box. Check it and from the drop down you have to choose the maximum value that is available in the drop down. So on my end is 16, so I will go with 16. If on your end it's 8 or 4. Whatever is the maximum value, you will have to select it. Once done you have to click on OK. Click on Apply. Click on OK and now it will ask you to restart. But if you can finally restart after completing all the steps. Next click on your Windows search. Type GP Edit. Then click on Edit Group Policy. Now here from the left and menu up, under computer configuration, you will have to click on administrative template. Double click on it then you will find system. Double click on system and in the system, you have to look for power management. Just scroll down to the P section and you will find power management. Once you click on it on the right inside, you will find power traveling settings. Again double click on it. Then you'll find turn off power traveling. Double click on it again this will bring up another box. Now here you have to choose Enabled. Then you will have to click on Apply. Click on OK and now you can close it. Next click on your Windows search. Type PowerCFG.Corporal. Again Identity. Now you'll find different kind of power plan. And it might be selected to Balance or Power Saver. So I would recommend you to go and select the high performance on the very right of it. You will find Change Plan Settings. Click on it then click on change advanced power settings. This will ring up another box. Now here, make sure it's been selected to high performance. Now here in the list below, you have to look for the PCI Express. Then click on the plus icon. You will find link state power management. Again click on the plus icon. And make sure the setting has been turned off. You don't have to choose maximum power saving or moderate power saving you have to keep it to off. Then, you will find processor power management. Click on the plus icon again. In the minimum processor state, the setting will be 0%. Then click on maximum processor state. And in the setting, keep it 200%. Now, if you're using a laptop, you might see an additional option of cooling. So, you need to select to active. Now once you're done, click on apply for that right. Click on Windows icon, click on Task Manager. Then click on Startup Applications. And there you have to disable all kind of third-party application. That is start along with your computer. So, you need to make sure that you disable these. application like any kind of third-party software. Any kind of browser one edge of. Whole link Steam application. Discord Skype. Anything that you can manually open and enjoy it you have to go ahead and disable them. Now here, you can see the process count has been reduced from 1. 30 to 273, that is almost half. The thread count is around 1349. 
the handle that was around 50,000. Now it's been reduced to 38, 39,000. Okay, so that's a huge difference. And now, of course, when you will be enjoying your Windows 1.1, you will find a much difference. 